there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. You got it. Coach Gates, Coach Arias, again. Today's message, the power of relationships. Simon, talk to us about them because you've done an amazing job of creating these bonds, these relationships with your people such that you can travel and do so many other things and your business continues to thrive. You've brought that to us. We have the same thing going on right now. Share with these folks, Simon, some of those ingredients like a good meal, Absolutely. how the power of building great relationships. Absolutely. So I do feel blessed to be surrounded by the people that God has given me. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel entitled to those relationships. I feel like I, I owe, uh, I, I have to earn that every day because I'm so blessed to have the people that I have. Uh, but I think it's it starts with your, how do you develop these relationships? How does that even start? Right, right, it starts right. by your care for the other person. You right. have to genuinely care about that other person and what their goals are and adopt their goals. What are their goals and vision and dreams? And you have to help take these people to the promised land. And that takes, you have to, you have to pour time into okay. these people. Whatever's important to them becomes important to me. Right. If their mother is important, their mother's important to me. And it's not a fake thing. Like, that's my mama. Like, we're in. That's it. That's it. Whatever's important to you, we're family. That's the way it got to be. I, I, Time. I, I just, I think of this 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 uh, story of this guy who was interviewed because he went to every ball stadium in the United States. The interviewers asked him, they said, boy, you must really love baseball. He says, not really. He says, my son does, though. The relationship with his son was so important. His son loved baseball so much it was important to him. Is that what you're saying? To build relationships, good ones, business or personal, you have to take interest in what they're interested Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Okay, how do you go about doing that? How do you do that? Go, well, I'll, I'll let you share. Sorry. After after you adopt what's important to them, making it important to you, we have to put time into it. Just you okay. can't have a relationship without talking to the people. Investment. Going to dinner with them visiting with these people, just spending genuine time is, these are some ways on how to build a relationship. Okay. But I think what's even, what's encouraging is what happens when you do have the relationships. What are the perks, perks of, of these right, relationships? Right, right, right. And I think when you have these relationships, whether it's in your in your marriage, and I believe Natalie and I are, are always evolving and developing this, but the perks of it is we get to win championships in life together. Mm. When there's this mm -hmm. synergy, we're on the same page. We're on weak, she's strong. We're She's weak, I'm strong. In business, where I'm weak, my team is strong. Where they're, where they're weak, I'm strong. You, you start to have this synergy mm. Mm -hmm. that can overcome adversity because other than death and taxes, the only other guarantee in life is that we will have adversity. Versus. And the people that, that have success are the people that overcome those adversities. Wow. And a wise wow. man told me one time, that the test of a relationship is not in how well that we do in great times, but how many obstacles can we overcome? The test of a relationship is how much tension we can have and continue Listen, to endure. He's smiling because he's trying to, in a nice way, give me credit for that, but he can't because I got that from Rappaport. And so now Simon's got it, right? The test of great relationships is not determined by what we get along the stress have you ever had a relationship, Simon, where there wasn't great ones where you didn't have stress? Never. Right? Never. Right? Because if you love and you're both passionate, whether it's in business or in personal, if the people care enough and you're passionate, it's only a matter of time <clears throat> you're going to have some stress and tension. It's healthy. Because when you, when, when you overcome it, it's like breaking, tearing muscle. When you, you get in an argument, or you have some, some setbacks. When it builds back, it's stronger. The power of relationships. Anything else that we've left on the table that we can share with these cats? I, I, I think we can go on for hours about the power and what's the perks to having relationships. But I can tell you this. When you're dealing in life, there's not much that you can accomplish without people. Everybody needs people. People need people. And you can't do people mm, without doing relationships. So true. Power. So, so often. I, I think I've said in this locker room that everything in life that you want, everything, I don't care what it is, you're going to have to get it through people. And building those relationships is so important. Simon, you're stuck. Come on. Simon, when they follow this, man, what will they end up living if they develop our on life? their way to living what? Their very best, best life. life. You got it. Ciao. See you guys later.